all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. Let's examine problem 86B, another selling and administrative expenses budget. So again, we'll just read carefully. We'll try to lay out our variable versus fixed expenses. And uh, I think it's as straightforward as budgets get to tell you the truth. So the budgeted unit sales for Chris Corporation for the upcoming quarter are as follows. And there they are. Um, and then it says the variable costs include wages of four bucks a unit, sales commissions, and other expenses. So we're just going to combine those two to get our variable expenses, right? Wages for the first uh, uh, month for April, 10,000 units sold, $4 a unit. It's going to be $40,000 in wages and so on. Um, fixed expenses include these three, 15, 35, and 10 grand a month as well as these will be fixed expenses. This is also the company expects to pay accounting fees of 12 grand at the end of April and employee bonuses of 30 grand will be paid in June. So let's do the selling and admin expense budget for Chris Corporation for the quarter. So name of the company, Chris Corporation. Name of the statement we're preparing. We're preparing a selling and admin expenses budget. And the date, and the date is for the quarter ended June 30th. Okay, so we're going to start with our variable selling and admin expenses. And there's really just the three wages, sales commissions, and other. And uh, I forgot to put the months, but April may and june and of course our for the quarter column goes to the right <clears throat> so our wages for the month of april we had oops, scrolling up here uh ten thousand units and our wages are four bucks a unit so that's forty thousand dollars for may Again, it's $4 a unit, and we had 15,000 units in May, so that's $60,000. For June, it's $4 a unit, and we had 25, wow, look at our growth here. Jeez, this company is exploding. Uh, $4 a unit, and it's 25,000 units for June, so that's $100,000. Sales commissions, $1 a unit, so 10, 15, and 25, because it's one times anything is pretty easy math. And for other, $3 a unit, so it's going to be 30, 45, and 75. 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 15 is 45, and 3 times 25 is 75. So 30, 45, and 75. So now we just need totals all the way around. Our total variable selling and admin expenses 40 plus 10 plus 30 are, is 80 60 uh, plus 15 plus 45 is 120 100 plus 25 plus 75 is 200 I've already just totaled across here it's 400,000 40 plus 60 plus 100 is 200 10 plus 15 plus 25 is 50 and the total here is 150. Underlines here. No double underline. Though we're not at the bottom yet. We still have to deal with our fixed selling and admin expenses. No 
Now, we remember as we move over to deal with our fixed selling and min expenses, um, buried among those expenses is depreciation, which we know is a non-cash expense. We're going to include it here, but we're going to deduct it at the very end of our budget to say, oh, and here's our cash paid for selling and min expenses and depreciation doesn't belong, but we'll include it now. So rent, salaries, depreciation are the next three. We have rent of 15, salaries of 35, and depreciation of 10 per month. 15, 35, and 10 per month. So 15, 35, and 10. And we're just going to like fill that number over. 15, 35, 10, 15, 35, 10, and Obviously for a quarter, it'll be three times any of those numbers. So there we are. There's most of our fixed expenses, but we have two more. The company pays accounting fees of 12 grand at the end of April. And it pays employee bonuses of 30,000 at the end of June. No accounting fees in May or June, no employee bonuses, bonuses in April or May, so our totals are there, 12,000 and 30,000. So adding down this list, 25, 60, 72,000, 60,000 and uh, 90,000. And just to be clear, this is our total fixed selling and admin expenses. Our grand total here, 150, uh, 222. Okay, so we're gonna add our variable to our fix to get our total selling and admin expenses. Again, we have our total variable, we have our total fix. Let's get our grand total. Total selling and admin expenses, 80 plus 72, 152, 120 plus 60, uh, 180, 200 plus 90, 290, 400 plus 222, 622. Uh, we're going to deduct depreciation and why do we deduct depreciation? Well, because it's not a cash expense. So again, this number is critical, right? This total selling and admin expenses, this will go forward to our income statement. This is the number we're gonna to present to shareholders. However, when we're doing our behind the scenes budgeting, we wanna know how much cash we're spending on things, we're gonna to wanna to back out depreciation. We're gonna to wanna to deduct depreciation. One too many zeros there. So our uh, cash paid for selling and administrative expenses is 152 minus 10, that's 142. 180 minus 10 is 170, 290 minus 10 is 280, and 622 minus 30 is uh, <laughs> 592. Double underline here, dollar signs beside the bottom line, and I would say the top of each major section can deserve a dollar sign as well. Certainly the top and bottom of each column, but the top of each major second section and the bottom line would be appropriate. All right, so that's it for our Chris Corporation selling and admin budget. And again, I just wanted to distinguish, these are the two critical lines. Cash paid for selling and admin, because we want to know if we're going to run out of money, we really keep track of cash. And total selling and admin expenses, just to know, okay, what are, what are my costs, even including depreciation for the month? 
That's it for this uh, video. Stay tuned for our next one.